First-year students from York University's Life Sciences programs recently took part in an innovative learning experience. Spitting into vials, they prepared samples of their saliva for genetic testing. All you have to do is just drool as far as this line, about one finger's worth of drool. Um, it sounds like not much, but it takes about five minutes to do, especially um, when you've got a camera pointed at you. It does take a while. You'll see the students, some of the students struggling like I was to try to fill this receptacle. This is part of a unique extracurricular learning experience for the students called Science First, one of 40 projects supported this year by York's Academic Innovation Fund. It gives the students from the life sciences a chance to join a learning community, explore sciences from different disciplines, get to know their peers, and have fun. It's important, I think, to get um, the, uh, start the student experience right as soon as they land on campus, or even before. Getting them in, um, engaged in the university culture, getting them engaged in the scientific culture here on campus, and especially this beautiful building. It's important to have a sense of community and especially as a scientific community because this is what, what we will be involved in, in in the coming years and we're future scientists here. It's my first time in labs and doing lab work so I never had the experience in high school so I'm really enjoying it. The samples are sent away to a company in California called 23andMe that anonymously compares the students DNA against their database to give the students a better understanding of their health and their genetic ancestry. In the idea of personal medicine, which is becoming more and more important every day, um, a student will know whether a certain drug, for example, is um, better or worse for them. You can map a person's migration all the way from Africa. So these mutations are accumulated from the beginning of time, um, in human time, hundreds of 100,000 years. Um, so you, can, you know about your ancestry to um, a very high level of detail. While Professor Donaldson was relieved to discover he was not genetically predisposed to any diseases, he did discover some distant relations. So if you go back in um, my mom's lineage all the way back to the beginning of people, um, I share the same haplotype as two people in my class. There's a guy named Terry in Alabama who is probably my fourth cousin. We cast to be, we share enough DNA between the two of us. Um, not enough meaning like half a percent, but that's enough. Though the results of the genetic testing were revealed privately to each individual, Professor Donaldson has decided to share his results with his class so they can be used as an example. So students will see me, all the good and all the bad. Professor Donaldson and his students will continue to focus on genetics with different perspectives with guest lecturers, institutional visits, and discussions about ethics.